Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another leaks video. Yep, apparently FNAF can't go one day without being leaked. That is, if the leaks were official and real in the first place. For some reason, there has been a resurgence of FNAF hoaxes. I think this is happening now because there hasn't been a whole lot of news about the projects that are being developed right now. It started off, I want to say, maybe a couple weeks ago, close to a month ago, with the security breach leaks. If you guys don't remember these leaks, these hoaxes, uh, it'll be linked down below. But basically, there was a, there were three images, uh, and then there was another one like a couple days after, so four in total. Two of them were from a Dreams game being made on the PlayStation 4. It had Freddy outside a window, and it had Chica uh, running out of the kitchen. Of course, the Glamrock versions, because this is for Security Breach. Um, and then there was another one that had the minigame panel where it had protect and then it had I want to say like pizza plex hub and then Fredbear's family diner or something and then the fourth one that came out a couple days after those images was uh I believe it was Montgomery on a escalator and then Freddy was on like the second floor of the mall all of those were fake none of them were real all of the creators of those images came forward and said yes I made these, no, they are not real. But we moved on from that. Everyone saw the images, everyone realized that no, these are not real, yes, they're hoaxes. And then we come to today, or at least a couple days ago, where apparently there were some FNAF movie leaks, even though in actuality, these images are just most likely cosplays, according to the comment section of one of the videos that I picked out. And by one of the videos I picked out, I mean the only video, and really the only source of these images that I could find. Like, I saw this video in my recommended today, I clicked on it thinking, oh, well, who knows, maybe it is true. Uh, but it's not, of course. Way too good to be true. Uh, so then I looked on the subreddit to see, well, did anyone actually post? these images, and I couldn't find anything on the Reddit. So I don't know where this content creator got these images, maybe off of like Instagram or Twitter or some obscure other site. Now I don't mean to bash on this creator, but come on man, really? So the creator in the spotlight today is Puggo's Pizzeria. Now again, I don't want to bash on this guy, he seems nice, he's made a few mistakes, uh, this one being probably one of the big ones. <laughs> because so many people are so desperate for the movie because it's been in development for like five years at this point, so people are really clinging on to any news that they have. Luckily though, a lot of people are smart in the comment section saying, actually, these are fake, they're not official. So I'm making this video just to let all of you guys know that if you see these images or if you see this video, it's not real, none of it's real, they're all like cosplays from like 2016 or something, at least according to the comment section. Again, I couldn't find anything on these images. So according to Puggo's video, you may have seen these going around the internet or you might have seen Puggo's video on it, but guess what? Puggo is a big fat liar. He's like, oh, well maybe these could be real, or I, I don't really know, tell me in the comments. No, he's wrong, they're fake. I said I wasn't gonna bash on Puggo, but I, I took a look at his channel and I saw this one video about the security breach hoaxes, the leaks, recently, and he said that exact same thing about Freddy Pop Collector, and so I was like, you know what? I gotta take that opportunity. I gotta do this. Now you may have seen this image uh, just floating around online, or you might have seen Freddy Pop Collector's video on it. And guess what? Freddy Pop Collector is a big fat liar. Freddy Pop Collector, he, he's like, ooh, I don't know. Is this real? Is it not real? Is this really a leak? So that's why I said the things uh, that I just said. But anyways, let's finally look at the images. So the first one is of Freddy Fazbear himself. Keep in mind, guys, that none of these or official, again, cosplays from like 2016, 2017, something like that. So I'm not gonna be talking about them as if they were for the FNAF movie, because again, we know they aren't. In fact, uh, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the movie using real animatronics? Again, I might be wrong about this, so don't quote me if any of you guys do remember if Jason or Scott said anything about using real animatronics or people in costumes tell me, but I swear I remember someone saying that they're using real animatronics. I definitely know at one point they were going to, uh, I think especially with Warner Brothers before Blumhouse took up the project. I don't know if uh, Blumhouse is using animatronics though, so again guys, correct me if I am wrong. But anyways, this Freddy, uh, as you can tell, it is not finished. He's missing his iconic top hat, his nose isn't isn't black. I don't know a whole lot about masks, so I don't know if it's it hasn't been painted or if it's missing black fabric. I don't know. 
The eyes are just sketches, there's not actual eyes in there just yet, and it looks like the lower jaw is also not completed. The color of Freddy is also off, it's way too light, it definitely should be more of a dark brown than a light brown, tan-ish. But overall, definitely not that bad. Whoever made this did a pretty good job. Again, it's not complete, so we, fu we can't fully judge it, but for a head, it's pretty good. Don't know what all the stickers are for the body, uh, but you can definitely tell that that body is most likely just a mannequin body to hold up the head. It doesn't look like that is part of the costume. It looks like it's way too solid and also maybe a little bit small for someone when we're comparing it to the size of the head, so I think that's just supposed to be a stand. And then the second image is actually a side view of the image we just looked at, so as you can tell, yeah, it's definitely not complete. Next up is a mask of Bonnie. As you can tell, this one is also not anywhere close to being done. It is completely missing any color at all. It looks like the only thing done with this head of Bonnie is the shape, like the mold, whatever it's called. Um, and then also they have drawn lines for where things go, like the nose, the eyes, the teeth, stuff like that. Again, guys, this is your reminder that all of these are not for the FNAF movie. Some people completely miss that message and still leave comments like, Oh, dude, why are you making this video? You know they're not actually official. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of the point of why I'm making this video, so I can tell you guys these aren't real. It's also worth noting that Pogo's Pizzeria did not say where he got these images. He didn't say he got them off the Reddit. He didn't say he got them from Blumhouse over on like Twitter or Facebook or whatever. He just kind of says, oh, this is really exciting. And then he starts talking about the images. So again, where he got them, I got no clue. This next image is of a incomplete Freddy Fazbear and a incomplete Foxy head. As you can see, these ones are also much like the Bonnie head, just uh, have a few sketches on them and they just have the shape of the heads done. Freddy has his top hat. He also has his ears taken off. Same thing with Foxy. He has his ears taken off. Seems like Freddy is missing his teeth. It also appears that maybe Foxy's missing his teeth as well. Freddy's eyes are hollowed out while Foxy's are not. This next one is of a incomplete Foxy, though this one does have his ears on his head. He also has his teeth in his mouth. So this one is much better than the other one. It has a green nose for some reason. I don't remember. <laughs> Foxy having a green nose, but there he is. Yeah, this one, if I had to take a guess, is probably the other head, but now it has its ears on and its teeth in, like I just said. And that is all of the images. A little bit strange, all right? Let's say these were real, okay? It would be a little bit strange for Blumhouse to release these images of just the heads, most of them, actually, m pretty much all of them, incomplete. I think the first one was probably the closest we had to a complete head. So yeah, these aren't real. Just let everyone know, that's why I'm making this video. Just let everyone know, hey, these aren't real, all right? They're fake. Again, I don't mean any hate at all towards Pogo's Pizzeria. It seems like he got the message from the comment section. So I'm not making this video to bash on him. I'm making this video to let all of you all know, again, these are fake. They're not real, they're hoaxes once again. I still have no clue why hoaxes are getting a resurgence recently, but for some reason they are. Again, I think it's because we don't have a whole lot of news on Security Breach, uh, again, a couple of weeks ago, and now, the movie. Hopefully, the movie is doing pretty good. We haven't had any information on it um, in a long time. I guess if you want to count Jason Bloom saying, uh, you know, the movie's going pretty good in that interview he had with um, a YouTuber, maybe a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. It's been a bit. <laughs> I don't remember the exact date of that interview, but it's been a little bit. And if you don't want to count that, I guess last time we heard anything was when Scott made that huge long list in 20... near the end of 2018, I want to say. So, yeah. Unlike Security Breach, which is supposed to be coming out this year, I don't have any guesses for the release date of the movie, because as far as we know, they are maybe still working on a script, but at this time I feel like they definitely should have one done. Hopefully, at this point, they are, at the very least, figuring out uh, locations to film, cast members for the movie, maybe even working on costumes. Who knows? Or building animatronics. Again, I can't remember which one they are doing for the film. But yeah, that's basically it. I wanted to hop on real quick. If you follow me on Twitter, you all know that I'm not really in the best mood to be doing videos, but hopefully I should be fine. I think doing this video definitely, you know, got me back into making videos. So I think, I think I'm almost ready. So that's it. Again, they're fake. Don't believe them. If you see them going around on the internet, you, you can identify them as hoaxes. If you see other people saying, guys, look at the official costumes for the movie, you can politely 
let them know that they are not official. So once again, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.